After 15 months, New York's COVID-19 state of emergency is coming to an end. Governor Cuomo announced today that the emergency will officially end tomorrow. This comes as COVID cases and hospitalizations continue to decline across the state. Ellie Peters joining us now in studio with what this means for us. Ellie. Yeah, a very exciting announcement coming from the governor today. The state of emergency was put into place back in March of 2020, but tomorrow it ends and the governor says it will not be renewed. So what exactly does this mean? First and foremost, it means COVID cases in New York have decreased a lot. As of today, the statewide seven day average positivity rate is at 0.36% and cases have been going down for 79 straight days. Governor Cuomo says we are no longer in a state of emergency, which is why of course he's ending the order Starting tomorrow, the governor will no longer be able to issue executive orders in areas normally reserved for the legislature. This all comes as New York sees more than 70% of adults 18 and older get at least one shot of the COVID-19 vaccine. Now we're starting to write a new chapter. And the new chapter that we're writing is the post-COVID emergency period. The emergency is over. It's a new chapter. Doesn't mean there's not challenges for the new chapter, but the emergency is over. Although the state of emergency ends tomorrow, the CDC guidance will still remain, which means unvaccinated individuals should still wear masks indoors, and everyone should continue to wear masks in certain settings, like on public transportation and in nursing homes. Live in studio, Allie Peters, News 8.